I'm excited to tell you about our newest evangelistic program. It's called Go Fish In Mission Adventure Camp. This kit was created to fill the need for additional resources for vacation Bible school, children's church programs, short-term evangelistic meetings, children's prayer meetings, and even week of prayer themes. Planning an evangelistic program for children is rewarding and challenging, but I have no doubt that you're up to the task because God has personally chosen you, and that gets my boat and my prayers as well. Be sure to ask the Lord to partner with you on this exciting project, for He is, after all, at the center of everything we do for children, and He wants to help you as you minister to His kids. Whether you're a first-time leader or an experienced leader from a small church or a large church, this curriculum will give you the tools you need to plan a successful, Christ-centered, and most importantly, biblically-based program for children. Please don't forget you're working for the Lord. This is His program. These are His kids, His vineyard, and He chose you for this time and place to plant the seeds in the hearts of His children. And He promises that if we plant the seeds, he will reap the harvest. This Go Fish and Mission Adventure Camp program comes in a packet of six discs, and it includes your director's manual, your station manuals, a music CD with vocal tracks and accompaniment tracks, a music DVD with motions and lyrics, Adventist Missions DVD, you'll play a little section each day, and a media resource CD-ROM or reproducible CD-ROM that has all of your consumable items on it. The manuals include technique tackle boxes. These are tips that we learned along the way that will make your program a little easier to run. There are also daily station scripts with detailed dialogue and instructions for each station leader. Photos and illustrations, note spaces in the director's manual to keep you organized. And finally, a checklist for the weeks and months prior to VBS to help you with your planning and implementation. Each day we've created a fish hook for the kids. This is a visual reminder of the central theme, the one point we want them to take away with them. We've created a visual hook to help them remember. You create the letters B, L, and J using American Sign Language, and each letter stands for a word. B, like, Jesus, and it's not coincidental that the J looks like a hook. One more visual tool to remind the campers of our theme and our message. Day one is be like Jesus, fish. And for that, we cast the reel forward and draw it in. Day two is be like Jesus, teach. Day three, be like Jesus, share. Day four, be like Jesus, comfort. Day five, be like Jesus, love. Day six, be like Jesus, help. Day seven, be like Jesus, pray. And day eight, be like Jesus, believe. Our team of contributors was chosen for their specific skills and knowledge. And in addition to several experienced children's ministries leaders, we have pastors and a theologian who were consulted. Added to that, the Review and Herald Publishing Association has edited these materials to ensure their theological correctness. One of the exciting points that we have each day is the Camper's Creed. This is an opportunity for the kids to say what they are learning. It goes like this, because I love Jesus and I want to follow Him, I accept the challenge to share the message of His love with everyone I meet. The Go Fish and Mission Adventure Camp program is divided into a number of stations that were created specifically to meet the needs of all learning styles and intelligences. This also adds a fun element to the program for the kids. We start out at the Go Fishing Mission Lodge. Now this station is the first stop for the day and includes all the campers at one time. The program introduces the kids to the songs, allows them to share prayer requests, hear mission stories, meet new friends, and become hooked on the adventure of sharing Jesus with the world. It's during this time that the ultimate brain teaser or memory verse is introduced along with the actions to make it stick. Campfire Bible Adventures will be a big hit with the kids as they sit around the campfire and learn about biblical characters. The Bible will come alive through dramatic presentations each day. The interactive Bible stories are presented by camp staff Mick and Mac and they help them apply what they learn to their life. 
Go Fish and Games is the time when the campers will play games from around the world. This time also allows them a chance to get the wiggles out, to build team spirit and reinforce the theme point for the day. After they're done playing, the campers will have an opportunity to sit with their camp counselors, these are their crew leaders, for a wrap it up session where they discuss what they've learned and reel it in. Snack Shack is a little different this year. We've created it with three options and you can choose the one that best fits your needs. The options range from grab it and go fair to a standard station where the kids help construct their snack and have time to sit and eat it. There are also wrap it up questions to be discussed at this time. Boathouse Crafts is my favorite station. I just love the crafts. It's an exciting place where the kids will have an opportunity to make crafts and create a take home remembrance of the Bible story, the brain teaser, or the Be Like Jesus daily fish hook for the day. Kids with a Mission Project Headquarters will introduce campers to the countries highlighted in the program each day. There will also be a Kids with a Mission Project to hook the campers with a lifelong desire to become involved in missions and outreach. Go Fish and Mission Launch is the last stop of the day and the place where the theme is wrapped up for the kids. Using music, skits, visuals, and activities that challenge the campers, they will learn to make a difference for God's kingdom. The campers are introduced to Captain Goober, a salty, eccentric pirate who learns about Jesus at a secret fishing hole. It's not so secret. This is an important part of the program and one that the kids absolutely love. They'll also be encouraged to participate with an action statement and to reflect and apply the lessons for the day with their camp counselor. You might be tempted to dumb this down a little bit or to play down the humor, but don't forget, this is something that the kids absolutely love and respond to. We've created this program with two options. We have an eight-day program, and we recommend that you don't do all eight days in a row. This can be exhausting for you, and it's really much less effective for the kids. The most effective way to do this is four days over two weeks four days each week, and run your VBS two weeks in a row. The five-day program is an other option. If you choose this, choose five days, but be sure to end with day nine. This is the day when the story of salvation is introduced, and it's an important spiritual lesson to send the children home with. This curriculum can be used for so many things. We've mentioned this once before, but it bears repeating. It is not only a vacation Bible school program, it's also a children's church curriculum. You can use it as a child evangelism program when you're holding an adult event. It's great for neighborhood Bible clubs or a week of prayer. This program can easily be held in a variety of locations like a church, a school, or a gymnasium. You can even take it to a park or a recreation center. Some people even hold private VBSs in their home. Consider a large tent or even a barn. I know it sounds kind of funny. However, where children's ministries is concerned, you have to think way outside of the box sometimes. So let's start by an overview of the first day of camp. The fish hook that the kids learn is be like Jesus, fish. The ultimate brain teaser or memory verse is follow me and I will make you fishers of men. The Campfire Bible Adventure theme is Jesus wants us to become fishers of men, and the logical option is the Bible story where Jesus calls the disciples to become fishers of men. The mission video is called Growing Up Thai, and it's the story of a North American family who goes to Thailand to be missionaries. Their 13-year-old daughter is highlighted. The country that the kids will learn about is North America. And the kids with the Mission Project headquarters, the kids can either make kids care kit bags for children in local hospitals, or they can raise money to purchase Bibles for Native American children. Go Fish and Boathouse Crafts, the kids will make a coin purse, and this they can use every day to bring their offerings for the Native American Bibles. Go Fish and Games, they can play one of two options, Go Fish and Game or Fishing with Jesus. Snack Shack food of North America includes popcorn and even marshmallow treats. Now let's see what it's like in practice. 